a slice of pizza and have a burning feeling in your chest or throat, what could it be? That burning feeling in your chest or throat could be heartburn. Heartburn happens when the acid in your stomach comes up into your esophagus, the tube connecting your mouth to your stomach. Heartburn can be brought on by some foods and beverages. If you take antacids and feel better quickly, that's great. However, if you have heartburn twice a week or more, and you've been using antacids for over two weeks, my associate Dr. Stephen James has this advice. If you still have heartburn after taking two weeks of antacids, see your doctor. Persistent heartburn can be a symptom of gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. Untreated, GERD can cause serious complications. Can anxiety or spicy foods cause peptic ulcers? The answer is no. A peptic ulcer is a sore in the lining of your stomach or the first part of your small intestine. My colleague, Dr. Stephen James, points out, You may be surprised to hear that often used medications such as aspirin or ibuprofen called NSAIDs are a common cause of peptic ulcers. Ulcers are also caused by bacteria called H. pylori. The most common symptom of a peptic ulcer is a dull or burning pain in the stomach that comes and goes between meals. Other symptoms of a peptic ulcer may include weight loss or feeling sick to your stomach. Even if you have mild symptoms that are persistent, see a doctor. Untreated, ulcers can get worse. Did you know that heartburn has nothing to do with your heart? It's actually a pain in the esophagus, the tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. If you feel a burning type pain in your chest once a week or less, Try avoiding foods and drinks that may trigger it, such as caffeinated coffee, alcohol, or tomatoes. And over-the-counter medications such as antacids may be helpful. If you feel heartburn twice a week or more, or have been using antacids for more than two weeks, see a doctor. She may prescribe medications or recommend lifestyle changes, like quitting smoking or eating smaller meals. Don't ignore the pain of frequent heartburn, because it can damage the lining of your esophagus. For more information, follow us on Twitter at NIDDKGov. This is Dr. Griffin Rogers with the NIH.